Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I want to talk about why I'm replacing the nickel cardium batteries from my large remote control vehicles to a do-yourself lithium batteries from my laptop computers. Let's talk about it right now. All right, as you can see here, I have an old, a classic remote control cars and they're awesome. Like look at the wheels, the power that it has. Same thing with this one. I love this one because this one is actually, it shoots the, like these uh, soft styrofoam bullets and it doesn't go very far, but you know, it's fun to be able to remotely control that and shoot it out for maybe like nine feet, which is awesome. These are very old type of uh, remote control cars or vehicles and they're, I don't think they make these type of anymore. The thing is, I want to be able to continue to use it, but the problem is the batteries, okay? So let me show you the battery. So originally it, it was using the 9.6 volt uh, nickel cadmium batteries. Now it's very hard to find this in the store to buy it. Unless you go online, you may be able to find this. And they're not cheap either, they're quite expensive. And the thing I don't like about nickel cadmium is that um, they're not as powerful as a lithium battery here. This is 9.6 volt. I have a 11.1 volt that I put together. This is lithium uh, battery, the 18650 battery from a laptop actually. So this is a recycled lithium battery that I got from my laptop battery and it's free. I was able to solder it together and keep it in um, series. So now it's an 11.1 volt. Initial individual cell is 3.7 volt and you connect it in series, it's now 11.1 volt. So as you can see here. Now all I had to do was modify the connector. As you can see, this is a standard connector to the vehicles. Once I connect them, here is the container. That's where I connect the battery. Originally it was for the nickel cadmium. I was able to modify it uh, and then connect it to the battery pack system. Now the good thing about this is that I can take this lithium battery and recharge it with my special lithium battery uh, charging system. And I'll show you next time how I would do that. But as you can see, it's rechargeable hundreds of times. In fact, compared to uh, the nickel cadmium, I think this can outlast the nickel cadmium, the lithium batteries. You can charge this probably, if it's a new uh, lithium battery, you can charge it at least 500 times. Whereas these ones, I don't know how many times, maybe a couple hundred. So you can see almost two, three times more powerful, not just in terms of recharging, but in terms of power as well. This is 11.1 uh, volt, this is only 9.6 volt. So I have increased the power of these vehicles and I made it last longer. And it was free, it was from my laptop, lithium batteries. So I hope you can do the same. And I'll show you right now at the end of the video what it looks like. It works well. I mean, it's not the best remote control vehicles uh, in the modern day per se is because of the antennas and the remote control it doesn't go very far but I just enjoy it because it's the classic vehicles that I can use and play with and it's fun actually it's very fun very powerful doesn't cost me much in fact I got this for a couple bucks these used remote control cars and I really enjoy it knowing the fact that I can replace the battery and play for it for many many times maybe for years to come Hopefully I can pass this to my kids and they will enjoy it too. Or even my grandkids. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart for appreciation. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Bye.